I'm going to use some examples of what happens to soldiers when they're taken from the United States, sent over to Iraq and Afghanistan, and experience the traumatic experience of war. And how does that experience impact their performance? How does that experience impact their behaviors based on the influence that that traumatic experience has on their brain, whether they want it to or not? Okay. So what they do is they go to a place like Iraq or Afghanistan. And what is the enemy trying to do to them when they're there? Kill them. The enemy's trying to kill these men and women. Hyperactivated fight or flight. And when you're in a place where you know, bad guys are trying to kill you, having your fight or flight activated to respond real quickly is the best thing that could happen to you. And it functions great when you're in a combat zone. But now let's take that soldier and return him to the United States. So you get on a plane, come back to the U.S., get off the plane, ah, I'm back home. What part of the brain is recognizing the geographic shift back to the United States? The cortex, the intelligent human thinking brain. But where was this hyper-aroused fight or flight located? In the primitive animal brain, the subcortical brain, specifically a structure called the amygdala, which becomes hyperactivated and triggers fight or flight. Now that was very, very powerful and essential in a combat zone, but the soldier now comes home and he's still hyperactivated.